Today we are going to take a new topic that is why do we fall ill? In this topic, first uh, we'll take uh, let us take let us talk about health. Okay, children. What do you mean by a health? And what do you mean by a disease? That we are going to discuss in this first. So, if I take health first, every living organism, maybe plant or animal, requires food. For its survival, maintenance, growth, and development, nutrition is required in a specific amounts. So a proper dietary habits lead to sound health and proper mental development. And a person is said to be healthy when he fulfills these conditions. The first condition is he should have no symptoms of disease. He should have no physical deformity. He should have no psychological tensions he should have all the body parts functioning properly he should have sufficient balanced diet so if a person fulfills these condition he or she can be called as a healthy person now what are the various significances of health if i talk about the significance the major significances are the good health increases our efficiency for doing work our efficiency increases and it makes us cheerful and happy cheerful and happy now health can be um, differentiated as community and personal health personal health means the health of a individual person but community health has a different meaning for personal health and community health one should keep the environment clean good economic conditions social equality and harmony are must a good civic sense all will lead to a better community health so community health can be defined as all the personal health along with the environmental services for the improvement of health of community it comprises of all efforts for maintaining protecting and improving the health of the people who is doing remarkable work in the community health so this is the major organization who is working for the community health now if i talk about the difference between the personal health and the community health there are various differences we can say the state of physical mental and social well being of an individual is called personal health on the other hand maintenance protection and improvement of health of the whole community is called as community health now in the personal health only individual maintains uh, his or her health but in community health the whole community remains healthy an individual can maintain his health by eating balanced diet observing personal and domestic hygiene consuming clean food clean water etc proper exercise relaxation community health can be achieved by provision for treated and safe drinking water proper disposal of sewage proper medical facilities and control of communicable diseases now let us come to uh, the various activities which are involved in maintaining the community health now uh, you all are very well aware of the community health now what are the various activities involved in maintaining community health now first and foremost is uh, maintenance of proper sanitation proper sanitation is must uh, second point we can write as uh, uh, providing proper facilities for prevention and control of diseases prevention and control of diseases uh, providing health education establishment of health care centers prevention of uh, food adulteration and last is providing maternity and child care centers now if i talk about the first point that is 
proper sanitation in this proper sanitation what we can discuss is we should how can we maintain this proper sanitation we can maintain it by like providing clean and safe drinking water providing good sewage and rain water disposal proper garbage disposal should be there and strict enforcement of anti pollution laws now second point is prevention of control of disease how can we control it we can uh, do prevention by pre uh, preventive vaccinations against a number of diseases like tb measles hepatitis etc and on the other hand we can also spray mosquito and germ killing chemicals at regular intervals now health education should be provided to people from time to time so that they can be aware of the uh, means of communication of the diseases and their preventive methods healthcare centers now many primary healthcare centers district hospitals community health centers medical colleges they have been established for maintaining community health now uh, food adulteration is what degrading the quality of the food so that should be prevented of course and the last point is providing maternity and child care centers so that mortality rate among children is reduced to a great extent provision of family planning advice and medical care to school going children that should be must for the for enhancing the community health the next is we are going to talk about the disease now disease is what it is a condition of the body or part of it in which functions are disturbed so we can define disease as what disturbed functions in a body a disease is a condition in which the functions are disturbed it can also be defined other way as morphological physiological psychological disturbance in the body or body parts caused by external agencies which may be non parasitic caused by viruses bacteria etc the term disease means disease or discomfort so disease means dis ease and disease means non comfort or no comfort when you are not feeling any comfort in your body any type of discomfort you can have a disease or you can be called as a disease person now in short it can be defined as disease is a disorder of body now distinction between healthy and disease free person how can we uh, differentiate between two the term disease is used when we find a specific and particular cause for discomfort we know we may not be knowing the main cause of the discomfort but still we can use the term disease a person may not be suffering from any disease but may be in poor health and this is particularly true for social and mental health where we can be in poor health and without there being a cause in the form of an actual disease this is the reason why when we think about health we think about societies and communities now uh, let me tell you the difference between the healthy and the disease free person uh, let me tell you this difference in a tabular form healthy person and a disease free person now a healthy person it is a state of physical mental and social well being healthy person we can define as what physical mental and social well being on the other hand disease free person is what it is a state of absence of any body discomfort absence of any body discomfort the second point of differentiation between these two is what it depends upon the person and one's environment including society so health it uh, health depends on person and environment on the other hand disease free person it depends upon the person alone depends on person alone the third point of differentiation is a person can be unhealthy even in the absence of disease on the other hand a person would be disease free in the absence of discomfort now uh, the next point we are going to talk about disease is uh, how they are manifested that is manifestation of disease or how diseases occur 
manifestation of disease uh, give rise to various signs and symptoms and symptoms are evidences of the patient's feeling of being wrong for example headache loose motions wound with a pulse uh, discomfort fever etc the sign give an indication of the presence of a particular disease so how disease manifests we can recognize it by the symptoms now acute and chronic diseases we are going to talk about the acute and chronic diseases now acute diseases uh, they are of short duration short duration diseases severe course uh, there is a complete recovery after a disease no loss of weight or tiredness and there is a short duration loss of work and efficiency short duration loss of efficiency we can say on the other hand the chronic diseases they are exactly opposite to these acute diseases and they are long lasting uh, the patient does not recover completely so complete recovery is not there and there is often loss of weight or feeling of tiredness and there is a prolonged loss of work and efficiency prolonged loss of efficiency we can say these are the differences between acute and chronic diseases now what are the various causes of diseases we are going to discuss them in detail causes of diseases the various causes can be categorized in these categories first important cause is pathogens second lack of nutritious diet third main important causes lack of uh, public services so if i going uh, if i discuss them in detail pathogens means uh, these are the various microorganisms like bacteria virus fungus etc which cause diseases so they are transferred to human beings through air contaminated food water soil etc now these can transfer disease now lack of nutritious diet it is a second level cause of disease or absence of nutrition that makes a person unhealthy and unhealthy persons they are susceptible to various diseases lack of public services government should provide clean drinking water good sewage disposal proper garbage disposal etc if the public services are poor there are more chances of contamination of food and water so poor people due to poverty live in unclean surroundings where even basic amenities are lacking these people may suffer more from diseases so as it is evident from the above discussion there are three level causes of diseases first is pathogens second is lack of nutritious diet and third is lack of public services thank you children